Selena Gomez is not a guest for body shamers. This has been going on for years, and her mother thinks it's time to talk about it. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll talk about how Selena Gomez's mom slams critics who told daughter to lose weight. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Just last year, Selena Gomez has highlighted the painful repercussions of being body shamed as she gained weight as a result of her autoimmune disease, as if living with lupus wasn't challenging enough. Appearing on her friend Raquel Stevens' video podcast, Giving Back Generation, which aims to incentivize newer generations to give back, one good deed at a time. Gomez talked about dealing with her fluctuating weight after her diagnosis and the people who trolled her. She explained, I have lupus and deal with kidney issues and high blood pressure, so I deal with a lot of health issues. And for me, that's when I really started noticing more of the body image stuff. Gomez told Stevens that her weight is affected by a combination of things, the disease itself, the medication she takes to manage it, and various other health factors. She said, it's the medication I have to take for the rest of my life. It depends on even the month, to be honest, she said of her weight fluctuation. So for me, I really noticed when people started attacking me for that. And in reality, that's just my truth. I fluctuate. It depends on what's happening in my life. That got to be big time, she said of the negative comments she received about her weight on social media. That really messed me up for a bit. In an October 2015 interview with Billboard, Gomez revealed that she had been diagnosed with lupus and was undergoing chemotherapy. Less than two years later, Gomez shared more big news. She'd received a kidney from her best friend, actress French Aresa. I'm very aware. Some of my fans had noticed I was lying low for part of the summer and questioning why I wasn't promoting my new music, which I was extremely proud of. Gomez captioned her Instagram post announcing the transplant. So I found out I needed to get a kidney transplant due to my lupus and was recovering. It was what I needed to do for my overall health. The Lose You to Love Me singer racked up an outpouring of love and support for sharing her diagnosis and her recovery. But as is always the case in the world of social media, not all of the feedback was positive. In September 2018, Gomez took an extended break from social media, suggesting in an Instagram post that it was due to the negativity she received online. Just remember, negative comments can hurt anybody's feelings, she wrote. After a five month hiatus, she returned to Instagram in January, telling her followers, last year was definitely a year of self-reflection, challenges and growth. It's always those challenges that show you who you are and what you're capable of overcoming. Trust me, it's not easy, but I am proud of the person I am becoming and look forward to the year ahead. Love you all. But recently, her mom took the initiative to share her sentiment on all this body shaming. TV claims she received unsolicited advice and unpleasant criticism about her appearance and weight after appearing on the December 2021 cover of Entrepreneur Magazine alongside her 29-year-old daughter and businesswoman Daniela Pearson. They had no idea Tifi was fighting for her life with her health and had gained weight as a result. She was encouraged to lose weight in an Instagram post of an alleged screenshot of a private message she claims came from an unknown user. That was one of the nicer comments Tifi had received. I wasn't ever going to discuss this, but I knew when the entrepreneur cover came out, comments on my weight were going to be DM'd to me. She captained the post in part. But I was out of the hospital for maybe three and a half weeks from double pneumonia. I was told I had days to live. Tifi says it's a miracle that she's alive. She credits the medical staff and support she received from her loved ones to get her through. But the battle was not easy. I fought, she continued. The doctors fought and I was one of the few who made it out. She had double pneumonia, which caused inflammation from the infection. As a result, she gained more than 60 pounds, but she refused to let it get her down. I never gave up on myself or wonder mind coming to reality, she shared, noting a new organization focused on mental health co-founded with her daughters. She continued, I had zero business to be at a photo shoot. So yesterday was a beautiful day, for many reasons filled with personal attacks. I'm healthy and I will work on myself at my pace. It's a miracle I am here, and could care less if that means I'm a 16 instead of an eight. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell 
so you'll never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.